And now for our giraffe, we'll be using four balloons. We've got a blush heart that I've inflated till it's just beginning to lobe out. You can see where the two lobes were there. A five inch round inflated to just a little bit over an inch with the nozzle cut very close. Got a mocha brown 160 inflated with about a five inch tail on the end of it. And then a goldenrod 260 with about a six inch tail on it. We're going to start with our goldenrod. We're going to start by making a little fold twist with about a two inch bubble. Secure that. Make another fold twist the same size. So we've got two fold twists there. Now we're going to make about a seven inch bubble for the neck. We're going to make a little small half inch bubble here. Make that into a pinch twist. We're make another small half inch bubble. That one will also be a pinch twist. These will be important later for making the neck stand up straight. We're going to make about an inch and a half bubble for our front leg. Another inch and a half bubble for our other front leg. Secure that in there. Now we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble for our body. Half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. And then we're going to take that pinch twist and twist it into two. Just like that. And what's left over, we need the two back legs. If you have some extra left over like this, a lot of times it's a good idea to go ahead, tie it off, trim some of the excess so you don't have that sticking out for small children to make comments that they will make. So make our back legs. Twist that up into that split pinch twist we have there. So there's the beginning of our giraffe. Now we're going to take our heart, twist that into those two fold twists that we have at the top of our neck we started with. And then we're going to get our Mocha 160. And again, up where the fold twists are, twist that into there as well. Now we're going to make about a two to two and a half inch bubble. Make a little small half inch bubble, another half inch bubble, and then another bubble the same size as this one, another two and a half inch bubble. Coming back down into the base of the head, roll around one of the cheeks to secure it. This one of ours came out smaller. Let's see what we've got here. Let's make that one a little longer so it'll match better. There we go. Those would be our horns for our giraffe. And now with what we have left of this 160, we're going to make a string of pearls that's going to go down his neck and hook into these back shoulders here. So make a series of small half inch bubbles. Until you get down to the base of the neck. Once you reach the base of the neck, secure that in around the front legs once or twice. Pop this excess off, but hang on to this. We'll need this in a moment. Secure that end up in there. Now we're going to take this piece we have left over, pull a little bubble on the end of it, and then tie it off. Trim that down to it's about a quarter of an inch on the end there. And then bring this and twist that into that split pinch twist we have for his tail. And you can pull his tail up in between that so that it will stand up like that. Now we're going to take our five inch round, split it into two bubbles for our eyes, making sure we capture that knot in the middle. Oops, and make sure you get them close to the same size. There we go. Now coming from underneath the heart, come up over the top, one on each side and then cross them over once or twice to lock them in. Now position your cheeks, let's do fold twists on opposite sides with our horn sticking up in the back, two eyes on top, and then we'll add some artwork. Where our heart was just beginning to inflate, these would have been the two lobes of the heart. Draw a little crescent over the top of each one making a nostril, give them a smile. 
and then some eyes. And of course, if you want, you can add spots and decorating however you like. But this is our little giraffe.